Well, good morning, YouTube. It's Sunday morning. Beaver Bar's got all-you-can-eat breakfast buffet for $5. And bacon. Lots of bacon. And bacon. we're on our way there. All right, everybody, it's just before 10 a.m. The breakfast was pretty decent. No it's bacon. No bacon, though. Yeah, we were, we were a little disheartened about that. But anyway, looks like bikes are starting to pull into the Beaver Bar. We might end up with one good day left so far, but it's time to get over there, get our curtains up, and get to work. Check out this one that just came in this morning. It's a little 07 roof. It's pretty nice, but check out this bodywork on the back. Very retro. Nice cool tail looking on it. Something different you don't see every day. It's a good looking bike. So Chip's gonna get all the oils changed on that and get that customer taken care of with fresh lubricants. And uh, we'll see what else comes in, but that's our first job for the morning. You know the people like Monster Bright, they're not hanging out for the day. They're packing up, going home. Laura's already torn down. The jewelry guy over there is already torn down. A lot of people don't like to stay for Sunday because you know business is definitely lower, but we're here. We're gonna make what we can make. All right, everybody, I wanted to put this in last night's video and I completely forgot about it and Talon just reminded me, but we had a motorcycle that come in last night we found so much metal in the engine and uh, the bike was severely overheated. But check this out, it's pretty severe. So this is what came out of just the oil filter. And of course, when Talon drained the actual engine oil, there was uh, quite a bit of metal in there too and the magnet on the drain plug was just terrible. I don't know if you can see down in there, but you can see it's just caked with metal shavings. The bike seemed to run good. I got a strong feeling it's not gonna run good for very long. So I made sure to point all this out to the customer because this is how horror stories start, where people go, oh, I switched to Amsoil and then my motor blew up. Well, this guy's motor's probably gonna blow up soon and it's not the fault of the Amsoil. We don't know what he had in there, but he's obviously using a cheap SNS filter. He's probably using some kind of cheap oil as well. Could be installation error, you know, whoever built the engine. I really don't know what caused it. Without taking it apart, there's really no way to truly diagnose it, but it's pretty nasty. Oh, and the bike was so hot that what part of our procedure is once we change the oil filter, because on the Harleys it's pretty intricate down in that area, it's hard to get in there and wipe all the oil residue off that comes out as you change the oil filter. We usually use like a brake clean product and spray it all out. Keep in mind the bike had already been on the lift for about 20 minutes while Talon was doing the service. And when and it was so hot that when he sprayed the brake clean on there to wash all that down, it boiled and singed the brake clean off instantly the second it made contact. And that was after sitting for at least 15 minutes, maybe 20. Way overheated. This is where Love Jugs comes in handy. It's where Amsoil comes in handy. See, even if you do get in those hot situations, you're gonna be protected. All right, guys, and since we do this show at the car wash, we'd like to take advantage of this opportunity to clean the lifts. You know, our lifts get oily and grimy. So since we're here at the car wash twice a year for this rally, I'd like to get them all cleaned up. Once we're done, we'll let them drip dry, and then we'll re-lube all the articulating points, lube the cylinders, that way they'll be ready to go for the next couple of shows. All right, everybody, it's about 1.30 in the afternoon, and there really has not been any business here. We got the one oil change this morning, and then we sold a guy a battery. So uh, we've been slowly kind of packing things in, but now, it's just time to get it done. We're gonna pack it up, we're gonna go home. So uh, I'm gonna set this up on some time lapse real quick so you can watch it all come down, get it loaded in the trailer, and hopefully we can go out to dinner someplace tonight, relax a little bit, and be done early.
everybody that's it we've got the truck hooked back to the trailer we just pulled over here in this parking lot to say goodbye to our friends right here that run this tent because we are not going to see them again until we are out in south dakota in july so you know the show wasn't what we hoped it would be but it was actually really close to two years ago so i really can't complain i mean we didn't lose any money we still made money but but now take a look at the car wash over there and how different it was. yeah with nobody there looks naked so we were right out there in front of those two garages and all the other vendors were lined up in front of the car wash so i don't know that we're going to make it all the way home tonight we just want to get at least a few hours in right now it's about 6 6 30 in the evening you now we've been up all day did a little bit of work tore everything down i don't know if i get tired i'll pull over and stop if we make it all the way home we'll make it all the way home it's only like seven and a half hours from home According to maps, it always takes longer with Goliath because we do have to climb a couple big mountains. And it slows us down considerably. Um, but, you know, we don't really haul butt with this thing. So uh, it always takes me a little bit longer than what the maps would say. So we're going to get on out of here. Time to get in the truck and drive. guys uh, this one's going out for bonehead truckers of the week so we stopped at a pilot here at exit 82 off of interstate 26 just north of columbia south carolina and this truck over here has been sitting here since before we got here that one right there it's not fueling no hoses going from the pumps now i pulled in i stopped to get fuel had to run in and prepay, and then came back out, fueled the truck up, cleaned my windshield, did a walk around, kicked all the tires, checked all the chains, all that stuff. Then I pulled forward. Then I went back inside, got some coffee and a snack for the road. And the whole time, this guy's been doing absolutely nothing here. So let's make them famous. Let's put them on say no to bonehead truckers. Circle freight lines. Truck number two. And there's his truck number. Now granted, the truck stop is not busy right now. So he's not really hurting anything, but there are parking spots back there behind me. And this just isn't the way it's done. You don't park and take a 30 minute break at the fuel island. You guys check out this Peterbilt here with an RGN low boy type trailer. That's a good looking truck right there. I know it's a little bit noisy being in between two trucks that are running, but. All right, everybody. It's almost the end of the day. We are now in Waynesville, North Carolina. We're walking into the rest area here because we still have to do the drawing. And remember there was a giveaway I announced about 10 days ago and I said that we we're gonna draw the winner at the end of the Myrtle Beach Rally. Now we're going inside here so we've got a little bit of light. Right now, oh, I didn't know there was gonna be music on in here. All right, we'll just, we'll just do it in this little foyer area here. No music here. So once you see here, we've got the list. Katie's gonna cut that up while I talk for a minute. And then we are gonna draw the name. Now, if you entered into this drawing, you've actually got a very good chance of winning. Only 16 people entered. All right, so as soon as she gets those cut up, we're gonna do the drawing and find out who the winner of the $150 is. While she's doing that, like I said, we are in Waynesville, North Carolina. Man, it feels so good to be back in the mountains. The clean, crisp, fresh air, you just smell everything blossoming up here and whatnot. It's just, it, it's so nice to be back close to home. We are still about an hour and a half away from home, uh, but the gorge that we go through to get home, some of you have seen it in some of my past videos, 
it's pretty tight and windy and it, in the dark it's very difficult to see the tail end of the trailer and make sure that it doesn't get off into any of the little ditches so i would just rather wait till morning to go through there plus it's one o'clock in the morning right now and we've been up all day so we're tired anyways i'd rather just get some a good night's sleep and then finish the rest of the trek in the morning okay guys so we've got all the names in the hat take a look in here there they go she's mingling them all up mixing them all up whatever you want to call it and she's going to draw a name all right, baby, close your eyes and pick one. That one? All right, yep. So you open it up and you tell all of you to who won the money? John Simmons. John Simmons, you're the winner. Congratulations, John. John, so now it's up to you to contact me and tell me how you want the money. I can either mail you a money order, I can PayPal you, you can put the money towards a product purchase if you wanted to. I know that one of the subscribers, I don't remember who, said that they wanted to credit it towards a purchase of love jugs. That might have been you, might not have been, I don't know. But uh, anyway, you tell me what you want. So guys, we're going to go ahead and end this video now. I still have to go sit down and edit the video. And like I said, it's one o'clock in the morning and we are exhausted. So we're gonna get, get back out here to Goliath, get the video edited, try to get a little bit of sleep, and we will see you guys in the morning. So if you like the video, please hit the like button, share, subscribe with your friends and family, and until the next time I see you, keep those engines running. Yeah, training her. <laughs>